In this final movie, you use your computer mouse to control the rotation of the trumpet in real time as the music plays. Select the trumpet and freeze its rotation using Alt right click. Go to the motion panel. Expand the assigned controller rollout and select the second rotation track in this list, keyframe XYZ. This will allow you to work on the object's local axes. In this case, you want to control the horizontal rotation around the local z-axis and the vertical rotation around the local y-axis. With the track selected, choose Assign Controller and choose Rotation Motion Capture. A dialog appears. Click the Z Rotation button and assign it to a mouse input device in horizontal mode. Reduce the scale to 0.1 as the default value of 1 is usually too sensitive. Set the Y rotation to a vertical mouse motion and again decrease the sensitivity. Keep the dialog in check and go to the Utility panel. Click on Motion Capture. You may get a media device error. Don't worry about it, we are not using a media device for this scene. Highlight the trumpet rotation track and then click the Test button. Move your mouse around and see if there are any problems with the behavior. The vertical motion seems inverted. Right-click to cancel test mode. To correct the problem, simply enable the flip option on the vertical mouse motion. Try it again. This seems better. Remember to right-click to end testing. If you wish, you can play back the animation during testing. When you're ready to record the animation, make sure the record range out value matches the length of your animation, in this case, 1000. Click Start to start recording. At the end of the animation, rotation keys are generated. By default, there is a rotation key for every frame, but you can reduce these to a more manageable number. In the Curve Editor, select all rotation keys and choose Keys, Reduce Keys. Set the threshold to about 2 and click OK. The higher the value, the more keyframes are removed. Be aware that if you set the value too high, you might lose some animation detail. Play back the animation when done or view the final animation.mv4 file. In this tutorial, you learn how to control animation behaviors using audio files. You also learn how to use the motion capture controller to control animation in real time using devices as simple as a mouse, keyboard, or joystick. We hope you enjoyed these techniques and found them useful.